Boys and girls, here we are. It has been an interesting couple days. Uh, went down to the Classic yesterday. Got to see everybody say hi. Got some really cool stuff coming from that. Gonna get a couple new kayaks. Uh, met some cool people I'm gonna be fishing with over the next couple days. But all that's done, and we are back in the great state of Tennessee, and we're out here on the lake today. We're gonna see what we can get done. Um, I'm actually looking forward to today. I've not been out on this lake in a while. I'm out here with old Paul who's now a jackhammer snob like he he said to me just now you know i got a fish with a normal chatterbait and i was like oh so now you're a jackhammer snob i see how it is but no um we're gonna have some fun i'm gonna watch the rest of the classic hank cherry's leading it right now which is is really cool i think that dude uh that dude deserves a win which i you know and it's really cool that he's got to sit on one spot and really like do what he loves to do catch those fish um, but we're out here we're gonna see what we can get done Zero expectation for today. I mean, I think that's kind of a normal thing on the channel is to have zero expectations for today. But we're gonna go out here and throw a lipless, throw a square bill, throw a jerk bait, throw a big swim bait maybe a little bit. And we're just gonna see what we can get done. So yeah, that's what's up. And hopefully you guys will enjoy today's episode. I mean, god dang, I swear to god, I would, if I was a fish, I would literally, like, I'd swim from across the lake like that. Oh my god, I just got wrecked. Yes. I mean, like, geez, oh, Pete, I don't know how he didn't take the damn lot. He almost took the rod out of my hand. There he is. Yeah. Swallow mouth. Swallow mouth. Boat with him. Oh, my God. Hey. 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 Damn. Dude, I told you I got wrecked. <laughs> Drop the poles, baby. <laughs> That's the funniest bunch of crap I've ever done in my whole entire life. I couldn't get the net, man. Oh, gosh, guys. Check that out. On the jackhammer. Lord of mercy. I literally just picked this up. And I told Dad, I said, if I was a fish, I'd swim plumb across the lake to eat that right there and that is what that big girl just did three and a half. Oh, three and a half almost four pounds let's check three fourteen yeah, it's almost four pounder yeah you mad look at you <laughs> hey i'll tell you what uh-huh There it is. Oh, dang. Biggin. Biggin. We got him. 1.5. Yeah. Bring him around the front. Ooh, he's wanting to go around the front. Take him there. There are some more docks right there in Seabold that. I ain't seen him yet. As soon as I see him, he's coming in the boat. Honestly, I've never That's fished him. I don't know if they're any good or not, but I ain't gonna promise I won't go over there and check them out today. Oh god dang! Oh god dang, son! Hey! <laughs> hey! It's another damn gold, solid one. I mean, God, that was fun right there. That was fun. Hey, that's two and a half. Hey, give me, give me some of that. That's two and a half, man. Yeah, let's weigh it real quick. Let's find out. What was that when you did? 314. Fireworks again there today. Okay. Go. Right now versus the first 
Yeah. Ain't too bad. Thank you for that. That was a fight right there. <laughs> Dude, that was wicked, man. He took you for a ride. <laughs> I don't care who you are. <laughs> That is awesome, dude. All right, well, that was a straight train wreck. Dad, uh, Dad just put this one in the boat, but check. Just destroyed. <laughs> Look at this hook. Look what that fish did to that thing. I mean, total train wreck. Almost a three pounder did that to that hook. I mean, absolutely insane. It just shows you how mean and powerful these cold water smallmouth are. But I think we may have figured just a tiny little something out. It's two fish on these rocks and so we're just going to we're going to we're going to keep after it and kind of follow this pattern red crankbaits and stuff like that so whew, i'm jacked up little uh midday update we got two a four pounder and a three pounder and that's it for right now I'm trying to get figured out i mean it's only like what three o'clock we got a lot of daylight left because time finally changed <coughs> oh <to> mercy because <coughs> the time finally changed and uh which means the days are a little bit longer in the afternoon which i love because that means that i can actually like leave work come home get my boat and then go catch some fish in the afternoons but look at these bait fish stuck up right here but we're trying to get it figured out still um keep on throwing that that bladed jig and we've thrown a crankbait a little bit thrown the lipless a little bit and we fish flats and we fish rocks and we fish channel swings and done all kinds of stuff we tried to repeat what we caught the smallmouth on but the problem is is like there's literally no other piece of bank or rock or structure or whatever you want to say on this lake that that is just like that one spot it's just a spot where the current pushes in it's a spot where it's access to deep water and it's just those two isolated islands right there which isolated pieces of cover where the current's pushing in with access to deep water is going to hold fish and each one of those points that we fished obviously you guys seen was holding fish so we're gonna go fish a few more uh kind of high percentage key areas that we know about here and then uh I don't know. Just got to keep figuring it out. It's very interesting to pull up like first thing this morning, boom, boom, and catch a three and a four pounder, and then it just kind of is mellowed out. We've also had a full moon, which kind of doesn't work. We're going to burn hula poppers over a grass bed. Burn hula poppers over a grass bed. Yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> we're just if that doesn't work, work, we're going to the house. If that doesn't work, we're going to tie hula poppers on spinning rods and burn them over grass beds that don't exist. I love it. I love it. Well, there's a bunch of diving birds and loons on this point, so that may mean that there's shad up here, which there should be bass up here. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do, man. Yeah. Uh-huh. talking about I mean dead gum that's what I'm talking about Whew. Lordy Paul Lordy I ain't never in my life seen anything quite like it that is a that is a football of a fish what in the heck happened to him I already did I mean that dang gone fish Oh, let me get this thing on here. I the glove stuck to his pad. Three. Three eight. Three eight? Three eight. <laughs> no way. That, I guess. Three, eight, three. 
312 that time. I mean, dude, <laughs> what a look at the belly on him. I mean, dude, he has been eating, dude, dude every time. That tongue patch. What? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Is that a spot? Look at the jaw. That's a spot. Lord of mercy, That's what a, a spot. spot. I mean, he for sure does have a tongue patch. Hey, what a chunk, dude. I ain't never in my life. That's a three bird spot. That's, thank you, Lord. That uh, That's why it was fine. Uh, damn horse. <laughs> boom. <laughs> guys so basically what we've been doing to catch these fish and, and it's kind of we've started to figure out what the deal is is these fish want to be on shallower rock with the wind blowing over it um basically what we're fishing right here is just a rock bar that runs out and there's oh my god largemouth up there feeding oh my god oh but i got a 1.5 oh my gosh I mean, them bass just come up schooling right there. Are you kidding me? So, like I was saying, the bass are pretty much just sitting there on top of that rock bar, using the back side of that rock bar um, to push those shad up there, just like you just saw, and pretty much gorge themselves on them. Um, which is just, it's, it's awesome. It's, you know, we're getting early, early spring. These bass are starting to feed up. I mean, this, yeah, a lot of minnows, a lot of bait fish. These bass are using this rock to, to corral these bait fish and they're just feeding up. It's full blown pre-spawn right now. And uh, we're just trying to get them to eat here. That was, <laughs> oh, that makes me happy. <laughs> Well, I think we're going to today's video right here. Um, interesting day for sure. We only caught three, but we caught three of the right ones. Started off the morning with a four pound smallmouth on the old bladed jig, and then dad ended up catching two three pounders on, well, three, three better than three, three and a half, almost four pounders on a um, 1.5. So, uh, yeah, so I was throwing the that new color jackhammer that really crazy bright orange one i forgot what it's called i think fire car or something like that and i had it paired up with this little plastic um i'm not really even sure the brand i found them thought they would match really good with the jackhammer and it did and i had that on some ugh, 20 pound fluorocarbon seven and a half foot loose custom pro um this is the small crankbait rod you guys know about it i talk about it all the time it's my chatterbait rod and i had that paired up with a little super duty 6.8 and then dad was throwing a little rayburn red 1.5 he was throwing that on a david fritz seven foot medium perfect cranking stick and a bb1 right mm -hmm. yep bb1 with some 10 pound fluorocarbon and yeah not half bad for today not half bad at all had fun hopefully you guys enjoyed it we're going to stay after it um the next few weeks it's only going to get better and better i mean it's one of those deals that you know as the moon starts to get right as the water starts to warm up literally the next two weeks it's going to go from where you come up here and catch three fish like that to where you catch 20 fish like that and they're all quality awesome fish but as always you know where to go down in the description see everything we were throwing clothes we were wearing that kind of stuff go down the comment section with any comments concerns remember i don't take concerns and as always you guys are sweet thanks for watching <laughs>